wanted to talk about Tel Aviv. Hey, so this is me, Carl. If you haven't seen any other videos of mine, over the past five years, I struggled from severe IBS symptoms and had to learn the hard way that if I want to lead a happy and healthy life, a great variety of veggies are a must. But before you close the video tab now thinking, that ain't for me, I'm a foodie at heart and absolutely love eating good food. So all my travel videos are the 20% balance that I pamper myself with. The place I share are restaurants that first pay attention to the quality of their ingredients and most importantly, pour their heart into the dishes they create. So whatever diet you follow, welcome to a new travel vlog. This time we're talking about Tel Aviv. I was in Tel Aviv in March, end of March. It was my first time ever in Tel Aviv. I've never been to a, a city that is so multicultural in a way with so many influences from different cultures and especially religious influences which I found incredible and yeah for the ones who love hummus Tel Aviv is food heaven and me and my friend when we went there both we are huge fans so for us this was one of the most amazing trips and as teasered in the headline of this video I'll share my top five food spots I highly recommend you visiting on your trip to Tel Aviv Number one is a place called Michelangelo Cafe, and this is located in the Florentine neighborhood, which is one of the super cool hip neighborhoods. Amazing to walk around, so after your brunch, you feel free to just start exploring from there. And this is what we did in our, on our very first day. So excited for our first day. And I ordered the Rebecca. She said, this is a recommendation for her. So the food they serve is incredible. We went there several times. We were so in love with their offerings. My friend, she actually, she got um, their tahini balls or energy bites to go um, to take them home to Germany with herself because she was so in love. She was like, I need to show my family um, the dessert. So first of all, shout out to the amazing dessert. And as you can see, uh, we had such good food. So feel free to take your laptop and um, just enjoy yourself. Recommendation number two is called Tony and Esther, I think. The thing is with Tel Aviv, and this I'll point out in the other video, a lot of locations are not registered in Google because they have their own um, applications. So sometimes you have a hard time finding places, but I'm 99% sure it's called Tony and Esther. If not, I'm gonna link the name or the location again here. They had oh, first amazing coffee, um, we also went there late at night one time. Um, we didn't want to go out, but we just wanted to hang out, chill, talk. Um, also amazing space for that. And um, yeah, everything they pretty much served was delicious. Also their brunch menu is delicious. So I can't recommend it more. You'll see, see for yourself. And um, I'm telling you that the food, the quality was great. Number three is again an exclusive vegan spot, so just as a disclaimer, um, for all the ones that are looking for a meat option on the menu, not the place there. However, it was so nice, so delicious. The audience was super diverse, from very young people, to families, to couples, to older people. I was inspired by a bunch of older solo guests that actually probably live in the neighborhood and just go there regularly. Um, this one lady went with her dog and they brought like a little or brought some water for the dog to drink. Um, super, super friendly stuff. Great atmosphere. I uh, I can't recommend it more. Number four is called Yom Tov Cafe. And this cafe is actually close or right by Kamel Market, the big, the super big market in Tel Aviv you must visit when you're there. So actually what you would do is go to Yom Tov Cafe and have your breakfast there and then do a stroll over the, the Kamel Market. Last but not least, so number five is called Meshek Barsile. I think I hope I pronounced this correctly. Again, a vegan spot, but I would say vegan at its best fine dining. It was such a nice restaurant. It was, the food was incredible. The location is super nice. And uh, it's one of those restaurants where you know that they spend hours prepping every sauce, every little topping every condiment that goes into a it's a restaurant where you have like those super multi-layered menu dishes where you have a lot of components in in one meal that just all by themselves already taste amazing and then when they serve this as a 
full plate, you're like, oh my God, I'm in food heaven. So this is what I can say about Mystic Barcelet. Unfortunately, it was dark, we went at night, so the photos may not be the most beautiful, but from the bottom of my heart, it's a recommendation for all the foodies, especially if you're vegetarian or vegan. That was it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to hit like and subscribe because this helps me to continue doing this and will ensure to bring you more amazing food videos and vegetarian content. So hit the subscribe button like this. We talk next week.